Hi guys, and welcome back to another Dot Race video, and today we're going to be playing Ride 4. We're going to be using the Honda 600 RRRM right here in Ollerton Park. Sound like a stuck record there with all the R's, but of course that's the way it's going to have to be. We're doing the Trophy 600 RM group, and that is in Ride 4 career mode, of course. Going into turn one of the old corner in Ollerton Park. The track that's about 45 minutes down the road from where I live. I absolutely adore this track, and it's probably one of my favourites of all time. To be racing here on a nimble 600. The video <laughs> in the video I said the other day with nimbility was the one I gave for the Super Duke, and this motorcycle has the nimble nimbility as well. Going into turn four for the Island Bend, demonstrating its ability to manoeuvre and shift around a magnificent corners as we go into the shells. Oh, there's carnage ahead! Carnage! A couple of riders are already down. Carnage has occurred already in this Grand Prix. The British GP is always filled with carnage as more carnage has almost happened there with Chester Anderson and Dot Race colliding, two worlds colliding for Britons and the British riders, the Britons, collided in Britons in this British GP, that's a lot of British in one second potentially going around the outside of Alvin Finch if we were close enough but I decided not to push it too much the tyres are looking a little bit shy right now, they're not as warm as I would want them to be as we go into the Knickerbrook for turn 8 using the speed of the Honda 600 RM Going into the left-hander of Clay Hill. Careful not to accelerate too much over there because you will lift the rear up. Uh, so excuse me, lift the front up as we'll now flick it to the right. It's a carnage is ahead! Oh, carnage! Carnage has happened again! Oh my goodness, why so much carnage in Ollerton Park? <laughs> too many riders are crashing down in here. They're going too wide. They're touching the grass. They're touching the uh, rumble strip. So they're doing something as we go into the lodge corner for the first time of asking. We'll be navigating there four more times as my math skills are improving, as you can see. Or at least you can hear at the very least, going into the old hall corner. 20 past 5 here, 24 degrees here in Ollerton Park. Sabina Ferry ahead, Alvin Finch in second, Renato Banfi trying to break away from the rest of the pack here, and I don't think he's doing it. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, if you don't got a keen eye, and I don't know whether YouTube will compress this, but the guy in first place, Renato Banfi, he has something above his head. I don't know whether you can see that, you'll probably have to try to pay attention to it, but it's bugging me. You'll see, like, a, a, something hovering over his head. I don't know what it is. He has to be quite far away for you to see it, so it's awkward. You can see it now as he breaks into Britons. I don't know why that keeps happening, but it only happened in this trophy, uh, the uh, 600 Trophy RM group. So I have no idea why. You can see it there, actually. Maybe if you want to replay that screen, but I don't know what it is, but it's bugging me. So I need to get closer and closer to see what's going on as we go up in the inside of Sabina Ferry, the Italian lady, pushed to one side discarded like a used dishcloth and we go up into fourth place, third place rather, and she gets put down to fourth place as we now go into the rear of Alvin Finch using a lot of speed, careful of touching the rumble strip there, as you see the bike sort of veered itself up for us, not really ideal, I'm going to be doing that as Alvin Finch has carried way too much speed, he's going to crash, yep thought he would, he carried way too much speed going into that corner, not sure what he's playing at, there's that little floating hologram or halo, whatever the hell's above his head into Renato Banfi as he goes into the lodge corner. I'm trying to stick with him so I can see what it is. But it seems to be when it's only when he's like a good couple of distance away. Maybe it's something to do with the draw distance, I don't know. But it's annoying, so so go away. <laughs> when, if, you, if you're riding with a halo, then you need to put it away because it's a distraction to the other riders, please, Mr. Banfi. So you're now going to Denton's. I'm taking my time on this one. There's no need for me to push like an idiot. I know I can beat Renato Banfi, there's no issues whatsoever. This Honda 600 is just so good, it's so smooth, I really really like this one. It's one of the best bikes they've brought out to Ride 4, and I think with the superior and sweet handling of Ride 4, at least nowadays, it makes the bike a dream to use. I think he's also on the Honda 600, well the Honda CBR 600 RR, RM, <laughs> it's not like a pirate or something, RR, <laughs> as we flick it right for Britons, touching the rumble strip on the inside and the outside there using a lot of speed here. If you need to, just let go of the acceleration just a little bit as you go over the rise there. As you go over the rise, as we make our move up on the inside or around the outside of Hislops, he fights back up in the inside for Renato Banfi. Renato Banfi going into the Knickerbrook in the lead for the time being. Of course, that won't stand. But as I was saying, the rise just after Britons, just let go of the acceleration. Same as here, let go of the acceleration just ever so slightly when you go over the hill because that stops the front wheel lifting up into the air. As Renato Banfi, oh, he's gone way too wide. He's going to crash. Yep, Renato Banfi has perished. Thanks for uh, <laughs> thanks for playing, I guess. So now it's just down to us. A little bit of stutter because usually that happens when one of the riders crashes. 
I don't know if I mentioned this yet or if you didn't see the other video a few days ago. We are using the brand new Dot Race 1000 subscriber helmet. I do really love that one. I made it a couple of days ago. I used uh, some of Sergio's sort of uh, font and some of his pictures and stuff like that. He's kindly uploaded to the gallery for me. Because I just don't have the skill to make those things. I, I, I've done my best job with that one. You know, I've put a few colours together. I've made it try and look oh, a bit lively. But that's about the best I can do. Because, of course, when I did the Dr. Ace 1000 subscribers thank you post, and uh, even the thumbnail, I had like a multicolour of um, just different colours and styles in the font. And I really liked the look of it. And I wanted to replicate that onto the helmet. But I can only really chuck in the light blue and the pink. Or the purple. Depending what your interpretation on that colour is. Of course, I've got my logo at the top and the YouTube logo. The Monster Energy at the front. I'm carrying way too much speed into Britons. Oh, a little bit out of shape where I'm on the grass. Oh, that was very close. Now, I think I've said this before. If you do feel like you're going to crash in a corner, don't try and save it. Just ride the wave, go into the grass, and then try and recompose yourself. I'm just going to let a couple of riders through because I don't think I should... I deserve to stay in the lead after making a bit of a hash in that corner there. So, Isabella de Kock in second. Chester Anderson in first. Please... I probably won't say her name much, so I don't fancy getting demonetized. So Isabel De, Isabel De K, <laughs> I D K, why not? That'll do for me. So I D K is up into second place. The South African Chester Anderson, he's going wide. Oh, I thought Chester Anderson was going to perish there, just like um, I can't remember the other guy's name. We we went down. Renato banned for you. That was it. So now going to Lodge Corner for the second to final time of asking. The penultimate lap is about closed. It's almost done. As we go into the deer leap. Oh, carrying a lot of speed. Could probably get up the inside of turn one. It's going to pull back ever so slightly. Just take it easy. Stay it steady as we go into the old hall corner. Using a lot of speed. Using a lot of drive going out of that corner. You can really get a good lap time in there. If, you, if you're just brave. You have to be brave going into this corner as well for cascades. Because it, it's difficult. You can go off camber, camber there and you can lose the front. And once you lose the front, yeah, it's good night, Vienna. It's a difficult corner to try and save it in that one, let me tell you. As we go into the island bend for turn four. Carry enough speed and we could dive at the inside for turn five. Not quite close enough here for the Shell Oils corner. Get into the slipstream of Chester Anderson. Use everything we've got on board this Honda. Beautiful motorcycle, beautiful helmet. And can we go for the inside? Beautifully done. He's up on the triumph. He can't defend against that. Going into Britain's in the lead for the final time of asking... Beautifully done. Touching the outside of the rumble strip there. Probably could have been given a penalty, but thankfully we did not. Breaking into the right-hander of Hislops. Cody then flick it left for turn 7 to eight, turn 8. Turn 8, Nickerbrook coming up right now. Beautifully, beautifully done. Already up to one second advantage. My goodness. Flying over Clay Hill. Whoa, a little bit of wheelie. Someone didn't seek his own advice from earlier. Practice what you preach, Dr. Ace. Let go of the acceleration going over the corner. So that way you won't wheel into oblivion as, oh my goodness, that almost occurred there. Also, even here, if you do feel like you're bouncing across these little sort of bumps, just let go of the acceleration and you'll have a much, much better time. As we now ed exit Lodge Corner, going into the deer leap. There's victory for race one of the three in today's Grand Prix videos. And I'm very, very pleased. So we now move across the globe on board the Honda CBR600RR. We have gone from England to Japan. We're here in Okayama and away we go for round two of three in today's videos. Rina Ono oh ahead of us, Tagai Sasaki. Not sure if we're going to get through up on the inside here. Beautifully done. There's contacts made! Carnage is down! Oh, carnage ahead of us as well! Carnage everywhere! Just absolute pure carnage! Goodness me! This Grand Prix has gone heck to a handbasket in just one corner. My goodness, the Ride 4 AI are just unbelievably bad sometimes. Just taking each other out in droves and waves. It's just unbelievable. But we did benefit quite nicely as we are up into 7th place. Be careful that inside, don't want any would-be lunges. This time it was Tagai Sasaki. Yuchi, Yuki Uchibora is there as well. There's Edward Marcy is ahead of us. Marcus Steppen. Barbara Paver is leading the Grand Prix. Only if it was Barbara Paver Diaz. Maybe one day they'll get married and combine names. Oh, almost contact from the rear there. Going into the hairpin of turn five. Fling it left now for turn six. A very difficult corner to get right in revolver. As we now go up into turn seven. This is going to be a late lunge. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't think I've ever made a beautiful lunge like that into Piper before. But I'll take that one. As we now go up to the inside of Marcus Steppen. 
Stand back, German. We're already through. We're already going on our way. Now hold it right for the right-hander of Hobbs. Turn nine. Beautifully done. Using everything we've got on board this Honda. I love the maneuverability. The nimbility. <laughs> I definitely need to check if that's a real word. If not, patent it. Dr. Ace, nimbility. Going under the Bridgestone sign, carrying a lot of speed. Need to get into the slipstream to catch these guys up in the front, though. Barbara Haver still leads. Zhao Wei, Constant Koskinen. Jade Ramsey gets up at the inside of Consta. Now we'll try and fight as well. We'll have to get uh, our RSVP for this particular party at the front, this battle that's occurring. Can we get around the outside of Costa? Consta Koskinen? Oh my goodness, it's so difficult to pronounce all these names. I really, I give it my best shot, I really do, as we go into the outward curve. Could potentially cut his nose off here, we've got a little bit, can we accelerate? Yes, cut his nose off, slam the door in his face! Yes, that's beautifully done on the fin. Into the slipstream, Jay Ramsey's going, potentially, I think Jay Ramsey fancies a lunge up at the inside of the Chinese man. Beautiful move from Jay Ramsey, hold it right for turn five, contact made! Koskinen had a bit of a lunge there. He says, shut up with your crap commentary and let me get through. It's Joe Wei, he's gone down! The Chinese man's gone down! This is a battle for our attrition, ladies and gentlemen. Who's going to survive this Grand Prix as we decide to run on the grass there? Can we go around the outside to then flick it up at the inside of Hobbs in a moment's time for Red Redman? Navigated well. Oh, I thought about a move up into Hobbs. I don't think I've ever really made a, a good, successful lunge into that corner. I'm riding the momentum. Of what we did in Piper earlier on, or Revolt. Yeah, it was Piper. I'd like to do it as well there as, as well. Now, most of the time in these Ride 4 videos, I like to try and overtake places I haven't overtaken before. Or maybe just to give myself a bit of a challenge, because I don't think I've done every overtake possible. But I do like to think I can overtake anywhere. So I like to try and chuck it in a few times. I like to conjure things up. Where can we uh, conjure up a lunge up onto Koskinen? A bit of uh, rivalry already developing between us two as I slam the door shut in his face once more. I'm surprised we didn't just uh, give him a middle finger as we went across there because he did bumpers going into the very tight hairpin of turn five. Now into Atwood Curve for turn four. Carefully, he doesn't make a lunge up on the inside, the Finn. Jade Ramsey, the Portuguese lady ahead as well, also battling with Jade, the Australian. So Aussie versus Portuguese. And then British Rider coming in as well. Three tenths of a second up on their previous lap time. Jade Ramsey thought about it, but not close enough yet. Barbara Paver still leads the Grand Prix, doing everything she can for Portugal. Trying to win here in Okayama. Jade Ramsey still holding on the left hand side of the tyre. The left hand side of the tyre in just a moment. Time for Piper as well. Using the speed of the Honda, we can probably get around the outside. We, oh my goodness, bumpy, bumpy, bumpy on the rumble strip. Gotta be very careful of that one. One second ahead of the uh, of our fastest lap just a moment ago. Can we get over the inside of the Kawasaki? Not quite. Just didn't happen. We're trying it. I, d I do want to make that lunge. I really want to conjure something up in that corner. But just haven't had quite the success just yet as we exit the Mike Knight corner. Hold it right for the last corner of turn 11. And then use the speed of the Honda under the Bridgestone sign. Cross the timing line in a moment's time and that'll be our penultimate lap. The beginning of the penultimate lap. The beginning of the end for race two as Jade Ramsey now takes the lead. Ramsey into the lead. The Australian leads. Can we go for the inside of Barbara Paver? Is Barbara Paver going to lose two positions in two corners? You bet it. Oh my goodness, Barbara Paver, she's going to have to fight back. This is what makes a Grand Prix rider. Once you've faced adversity, how do you respond? Do you fight back? Do you still stick in with him? Can we go with the inside of Jay Ramsey? Contact me! Oh! A little bit wide, a little bit wide. Jay, don't go to the dirt! Oh! <laughs> I was just about... I felt guilty for making the contact, but for some reason, she still wanted to carry full speed with full lean angle on gravel. And that ended the Grand Prix. Now, if she was smarter about that, she would have accepted the contact, or at least expected a would-be lunge was coming. I do take ownership of that particular moment. My, maybe my fault, but I don't think she should have crashed. That was definitely her fault. We're now into Revolver, using a lot of ooh, a lot of acceleration there. As you see, the bike went sideways. Not ideal, but it's quite all right. We're still in arm's reach of Barbara Paver. Front tyre is looking not so bad. It's 47% on the uh, degradation. 37% for the rear. Can we invent something for Hobbs yet again? Not quite. We're going to go around the outside. Not even there either. But we're right on the rear now. As we go up into the Might Night corner, we'll be right on the coattails, right on the shirt tails, or the, the pulling as we go over to turn 11. It's just entered 4 pm, 27 degrees here in Okiyama. Whoa, a little bit wide. Not ideal. I'll tell you what, Barbara Paver's giving me a run for my money here. I'm not. 
fully pushing, because I do like to let go of the acceleration every now and again as we go around, coming around the outside to turn one. This will be a brave move over to C1. Can we fight back? Do we have the line? Probably going to have to pull back just a little bit. So I don't want to cause a crash going into turn two of Williams. Thankfully, we uh, we were a bit smarter about that one. I can't say the same for the uh, the J Ramsey overtake, because we now go over to the Moss's S. Oh, that bit of contact made there with Barbara Paver. Barbara Paver takes the lead. Atwood Curve navigated the, for the final time. Consta Koskinen is nowhere near us. He'll gladly take that third place. I think he's going to be a bit miffed with us from earlier on, but it's quite all right. We had a good battle going into the hairpin. Jade Ramsey is nowhere to be seen in the top three as we make a lunge. Can we go around the outside? Is Barbara Paver with the inside? Barbara Paver ran a little bit deep. Going into the hairpin for turn five. She's still got the inside line there. She's got the racing line. That's great defensive manoeuvres from the Portuguese lady. Can we fight up in the inside of Piper? Oh, ho, ho, ho. cuts the nose off again. Barbara Paver doing everything she can. This is a brilliant battle. Where can we conjure something up? Can we conjure something up? Do we have enough to get the inside of Hobbs? We're going around the outside of it, Redmond. Now we have the lunge up into turn nine. Yes, we've done it. Dot race into the lead. Barbara Paver in second. She didn't see that coming. I don't think she prepared for it. God knows I've tried that corner enough times to finally make it work on the last one. Beautifully done. That is a stunning, stunning victory from Dr. Ace. That is a brilliant Grand Prix. I'm at off with that one. I'm so pleased. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant. Barbara Paver will be disappointed. And then the AI crashes. <laughs> We now move across the globe again, ladies and gentlemen. This time for Interlagos. In a couple of seconds' time, we'll be using the Honda again and doing everything we can to take victory in this magnificent Brazilian track. So started off pretty badly, actually, there, but I'm quite happy just to take a step back and let the AI fight it out, potentially catch them up, and go around the outside of a couple of riders here into the centre S, flick it to the right-hand side here for turn two. Oh, careful of this big sausage curve there. Don't want to be touching that. And the F1 drivers might use it, but we can't. Oh, a dive of the inside for the curve until Sol there. As we get into the rear of Isaac Burns. Isaac Burns defending well. Is he going to have a bit of a lunge, or is he going to just hold position for the time being? Rolando Melo de Souza up in the inside. Whoa, forced me wide there, didn't you? The Brazilian chucked everything up in the inside there. Hands, feet, arms and legs did everything possible to try and stop us from getting around the outside of him. As Yolanda Venturo Cavallo. Alberto Duarte Pedroso, just ahead of us on track, the two Brazilians, that's difficult to say. Thought I'd try and impress you with my pronunciation there. Probably absolutely butchered them both, but I'm sure you knew who I meant. That's all that matters. As we go into the to left hand of Pinerino. Yeah, I tried with that one, that's a turn nine. As we now go to the inside of turn ten, that's a wonderful move. That's, I don't know why he went so bloody wide though, but that's a great move. Excuse me, it was a lady, Yolanda Venturo. I do apologise, but we forced her wide as we now chase down Alberto. Another Brazilian ahead of him as well. So I'm in a bit of a Brazilian sandwich right now with an extra piece of Brazilian on top. And do everything we can to get through up into turn 13. Hold it left for turn 14 in a minute's time for Sabida dos Boxes. That's probably not how you pronounce the last part, but Boxes will do me fine. As Rolando Melo de Souza, it will be beaten in a moment's time. He's carrying a lot of speed though. Hats off to him on board the Kawasaki. He's out of shape, but he's all right. He's still braking very, very well. Coming up with the inside of two riders. They're getting close. Oh, contact me there with the Kawasaki. Turn right for turn two. Senate S as a Isaac Burns is there. Laura Aniston. Can we get on the rear of these two? Now, I do let go of the acceleration just a little bit because I do find that the, the AI is just too... They're too slow on these straights. As we get pushed wide for the Decedent of Largo. Goodness me. Luis the Ruiz Pires... Well, she's ahead of us. It was actually Lara Anderson who was getting a bit aggressive with us. But did you like my pronunciation, the Brazilian name, and nonetheless? Going over the inside of the lady I just pronounced earlier, probably will not pronounce it again. It's too exhausting as we now turn it right for the curve. Adele Lara Lo La Janina. Oh my goodness, I just can't pronounce these names. It's so difficult as a commentator to do these things, you know? I've been doing three Grand Prix. I've done like so many videos today. I'm surprised my voice is still continuing. Probably have to get this voice insured at some point. As we now have a launch up at the inside of Piquito de Pato. Oh my goodness, turn 10. Yeah, a little bit of a bump. It gave him a bit of momentum, didn't it? Flynn Otto got the hurry up sign. He was like, yeah, I better move because this guy's going to bump me up the rear again. Can we go to the inside here? Not quite. For Yun Chao, turn 12. Good stuff so far. Patricia Bouillon ahead of us as well, the French lady. Where are we going to overtake these two gentlemen? Uh, sorry, two, one man, one woman. 
and Patricia's going to lose it here. Look at the speed difference. All I've done is open the throttle just a little bit more, and we are already through with a good three tenths of a second advantage. Six seconds ahead of the previous lap time, which is our fastest one. As we go into turn one for the Senna S, get ready to flick it right in a moment. It's time for turn two. Beautifully navigated, magnificent chicane that. Difficult to manage, but very, very satisfying once you master it. I mentioned this earlier about that bloody floating head thing. I don't know whose head that is. It might be Shinja Nankanzawa, or whatever his name was, I don't know. But you can see it there. There's a little bit of something floating above the rider in first place. It actually might be Barbara Paver. Barbara Paver might be the one who's leading this Grand Prix for the time being. And I can still see this little weird halo thing ahead of us. It's quite irritating that. I don't know why it's there. And I hope it goes away sometime soon. As we now go into turn seven. Things have calmed down ever so slightly. Me, not so much. I'm still quite uh, energetic as always. As we flick it left for turn nine. Ralph Wack, Shinja Kanazawa in second place. Barbara Paver leading this Grand Prix. She faced bitter defeat in the last Grand Prix. Will she feel the same fate today? Who knows? We'll be getting closer and closer as this race progresses. Only two and a half laps remaining, ladies and gentlemen. The penultimate lap is upon us in a moment's time. As we now flick it left for the Jun Chow to turn 12. Quarter to 12 here, 25 degrees in this stunning, stunning city. Stunning place of Interlagos. Gorgeous city, gorgeous place, gorgeous riding, gorgeous game. Everything's gorgeous, everything's wonderful as Ralph Watt carries a lot of speed. The German's getting a lot of speed, he could be into the lead in turn one if he's brave enough. Depends how big his cojones is, but we'll soon find out. The Senna S. Oh, it's bumping up, We're getting really close up. Shinja Kanazawa can take the lead. Shinja, not quite. Barbara Paver still leads this Grand Prix for the time being. Careful of touching the grass there, that's not ideal, let me tell you. A little bit out of shape on my behalf, goodness me. As we now use the spear, a little bit of break, only about three quarters of the break there going into the Cedar logo. Turn four. As things have just calmed down again, just a little tad. There's definitely a battle going on. There's a mini train here. And a couple of carriages fighting away as we go over the inside. Shinja Kanazawa fights back. Excuse me, that's Ralph Wack. We went really wide there as Ralph Wack pushes us wide. Didn't fancy cutting back on the inside with Ralph Wack eagerly trying to get back on the inside. Because that is a recipe for disaster, ladies and gentlemen. Turn nine to be navigated once more. Getting closer and closer to the final lap here. If we aren't careful, we might... Oh, contact made! And speaking of careful, we have to be a bit more careful going into Bico de Pato. Goodness me, but I was going to say, if we're not careful and we're not overtaking yet, we could be looking at another last lap showdown here, ladies and gentlemen. But we're going to have to be very quick, because we need to beat three riders. We're not even on the podium positions yet, ladies and gentlemen. And I can't say that's happened in a while. I don't Cast your minds back to when that last happened, I don't know. Going around the outside, but never mind, it's not going to happen anyway. We're still in the podium positions as we're carrying a lot of speed. 160 miles now, up into the slipstream now. Shinta Kanazawa let go of the acceleration just a little bit because I don't want to be carrying too much going into turn one and then uh, messing up turn two. We've got to be, it's a flowing system this. You've got to get turn one right to get turn two correct. As we go into the sausage curve again, Shinta Kanazawa defended extremely well. The Japanese rider didn't even feature in the top three for the uh, Japanese crack. Oh, a little bit wide there going over the... Uh, I thought the rumble strip was a bit longer, but it certainly wasn't. Caught me off by surprise. We're going to have to break her around the outside, or potentially break early, and then get the cut on the inside. Shinja Kanazawa making himself very wide here, defending very well. All arms out, just doing everything he can. We're right in the slipstream of Shinja Kanazawa. We're going to have to go for a lunge. Thankfully, he backed off as we go into Ferradura for turn six. Barbara Paver, Dr. Ace. It's going to come down to it again, isn't it? The Portuguese lady is going to taste bitter defeat by the hands of the British rider. Flick it left now for turn nine. The last time we'll be navigating that corner, and I didn't even try and pronounce the name because, of course, it's uh, hard for me to pronounce. Going into turn ten, taking a wider line here. Getting closer and closer to the Portuguese lady. She can hear me. She can smell my breath coming towards her. We know it's going to come down to the final corner. If I just use the speed, can I go to the inside of the lady? Not quite. Turn 12, we're going to use the speed though, use the speed of the Honda, not any competition. Barbara Paver, I'm sorry love, but you've got to get quicker. You've got to learn to use acceleration like we're using right now. Absolutely smashing it now, it's up by 7 tenths of a second. It could very well be a whole second as we cross the line. Victorious once again.
So guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Hit the notification bell to be alerted to every single Dot Trace upload. And upon that note, guys, thank you for watching, and ciao for now. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dr. Ace video.